Hello. All right. So what we're gonna do right now? Okay, we're gonna have ten minutes. Okay, practice with the students. Uh, the first student is gonna be Mercy. So I'm waiting for her. But let me explain what we're gonna do. So first of all, okay, a students is gonna be with students are gonna be with me, and they're gonna be asking me uh, many things. Can be about pronunciation. Maybe they want to practice conversation. Um, maybe they want to uh, go through the class one more time in 10 minutes very quickly. Uh, many things, okay? So that's why we're going to practice and reinforce students in many things that they want in 10 minutes. That's it. So basically, okay, that's the main objective of this session. All right, so right now I'm waiting for Mercy. So different students are gonna be logging in, all right, to be with me. So it is what it is, all right? So let me tell you that English is not difficult. It's really easy. That's why I have this famous, okay, uh, quote from me, which is very easy, very simple. So, uh, at the beginning, a right, white pronunciation is quite difficult, but that psychologically, all right, it's not difficult, all right? The thing is, okay, that we don't have these articulations in our mouth, but once we start practicing, it becomes easier, okay, for us to speak another language, which is English. So let's see, okay? Let's see what happens, okay, in these sessions you will see a lot of practice with the students. So I'm just checking out, okay? So what's on the chat, okay, with the students, because falsely, okay, right now I have to be like practicing privately with Mercy. I don't know what happened to her. Let me check it out. All right, I was checking, okay, here in the chat. All right, apparently, okay, Mercy is not, all right, connected. So I don't know what happened to her. A little by little, I'm gonna have the next student, okay? It's just like five minutes to go to have the other student. So today's class was nice because we were practicing, well, we were having a complete review uh, from previous classes. And also we were introducing, okay, the frequency words like always, usually, hardly ever, never, always never, occasionally, frequently, and rarely, all right? So it was just the introduction, all right? Practicing the pronunciation. And at the same time, we were uh, reviewing, okay, um, duties. For example, upload, download, heavy boxes, operate the forklift, on, uh, let me just remember, attend trainings, uh, visit clients, call clients, uh, visit potential, potential clients, um, let me see another one, write reports, send reports, uh, check the petty cash, control the petty cash, supervise the production personnel and others. 
So that was basically, okay, what we did, okay, in that activity. The other one was, um, let me just remember. Just let me check, All right, here we go. Uh, oh, we were, we were practicing the pronunciation about free time activities. That was really good because now okay, pronunciation from students is much better. So yesterday we did it, but it was like, okay, first time, normal, okay, mispronounced some expressions, but today was better. All right, besides I gave them, okay, a lot of practice to the rooms. They were practicing, I was listening to them, better pronunciation. Um, and also, uh, I gave them okay a list of different eighteen different uh, name for food that they might see on a menu. Basically, okay, the menu, okay, or the expressions about food that we were practicing are the ones okay from Mexican menu, okay, which is okay this influence that we have okay from Mexico. And uh, well, uh, what expressions? What fruit expressions? like uh, smoked salmon, stuffed turkey, uh, breaded cheese gnocchis, uh, cheese sticks, silver steak mushrooms, uh, spice, spicy chicken wings. But those expressions help us today to ask questions using how much, okay? How much in a singular form and how much in a plural form, for example, how much is smoked salmon here in El Salvador? It's $25, let's say. How much are cheese and yankees here in El Salvador? They are $10, okay? That's another example. So that's something, okay, we did today, tonight in the class. And it was good, all right, of course. All right, the expressions, okay, were a little bit complicated because we needed to pronounce, it, pronounce them well. But at the end, all right, it was excellent. The students were actually asking those questions using how much in a slow motion. Tomorrow is gonna be faster, believe me, it will be faster and better. Okay, 10 minutes gone. I uh, didn't have mercy, but I was explaining to you what we did today in the class. I'm expecting, okay, uh, Adrian Cigaran, okay, in just one minute. Okay, just expecting, Adrian. I'm just checking the WhatsApp chat just to see he has some problems, okay, to log in. Let me see, okay. Let me just verify he's in, not yet, not yet. All right, let me just text him right now. Why not yet?
Sim, vai chat. Oh, I still expecting for Adrian, Adrian. Well, same expecting, okay, for Adrian. So they have some type of problems right now, connecting. That's okay. I'm still waiting for him. I can see that he's having some trouble.
Well, nothing yet. No students right now. Okay, so they have some kind of problems trying to log in. But that's okay. All right, first time. It's a little bit. It's a little bit messy. Something might happen. Two minutes to go for this student. Couldn't make it. All right. All right, so let me explain something about the frequency words. We use them, okay, to, to tell how frequent you do some activities. In this case, because we are talking about English for Work program, okay, basically we use it, okay, how often you do your duties, okay, in your office or in your job. For example, uh, the question can be, uh, how often do you check your emails? Using the frequency words can be, I always, okay, check my emails. How often do you attend meetings? I usually attend meetings. How often do you write reports? I frequently write reports. How often do you check the petty cash? I never check the petty cash. How often do you operate the forklift? I hardly ever operate the forklift. So those are some examples using the frequency words. All right, so that's the way that you can use them to explain, to tell, or to ask how frequent you do those activities in your job. All right, so yeah, Adrian couldn't make it. All right, couldn't log in. So let's see, I'm waiting for the other student right now. Okay, little by little, we'll see, okay, they can connect. So next student, okay, that's gonna be with me right now, it's gonna be Harold, okay? Okay, but Harold, Harold was absent today in the class, uh, but let me tell you that he's a very good student. All right, yesterday he was participating also, his pronunciation is good, all right, and also he likes to participate and he helps also, uh, helps students, helps his classmates and also he's always punctual and also eager to participate at all times. And that's something really good because if you're learning a language, you must be like always there asking, participating, helping others. All right? At the same time, next day you need to be like practicing, reviewing, okay? Telling something in English, all right? So you're, you're growing into the language. That's really important. All right, Harold supposed to be with me from 10.20 to 10.30. All right, let's see if he, he can make it. All right, so let's see if he, I mean, sometimes they work, sometimes they do some, they have something to do away right, from the work. So he might have done, or he might have been doing something right now okay, from his work. I don't know, all right. So he was absent, but it's okay. All 
All right, let me show you what we were doing today. All right, so basically today we had an agenda. All right, this agenda right here, five different points. We were reviewing previous class. That was really nice. Better pronunciation than yesterday. Uh, we were also telling free time activities and also practicing a conversation based on that. Um, introducing frequency words, the ones that I mentioned before. Um, just introducing them, that's it, all right? And this was the main event, but today what we did was just practice to practice, okay? Uh, this one, how much, okay? Uh, tomorrow we're gonna do how many cars. I didn't want to give everything about how much and how many cars. Too much vocabulary, all right? So tomorrow we're gonna finish using how much and we're gonna start how many so they can complete activities related to it. All right, and it's gonna be really good. They will understand this very well. So they won't get lost. That's the most important thing, all right, to guide them uh, in a correct form, to structure them so they can use the language very well, I mean, so they don't go crazy, all right? It's, uh, something that we need to be careful, all right, when we are teaching. So let's see, all right, so what free time activities we free time activities we were pronouncing and we were learning these ones right here. Uh, from one to thirty-five. So we went into this in two parts, okay? In one class, we were pronouncing and identifying all right, these ones right here on the left. And today, we were pronouncing, identifying the ones from the right, right here. So at the end, okay, of course, this one, we have some mispronunciation, but in this part, it was better because yesterday we saw it, okay? So pronunciation was really great. So at the end, okay, the 35 activities, time activity, free time activities were pronounced really well, all right? So no complications at all today about this. Something, okay, that is, okay, really, uh, really uh, important for them to understand are these words, once and twice, all right? Once, okay, sometimes they tend to say one, but it's not one, it's once. All right, and this other one, two, twice. They need to know exactly the meaning and how to use it, okay, for this time expressions. Today we did the practice, it was really nice. All right, nobody get lost. And tomorrow we're going to reinforce them on this. All right, it's really important to recycle, okay, the activities. All right, again and again. All right, for them to attach very well language. All right, four minutes to go, Huddle couldn't make it, was working, I guess. And uh, he told us, okay, he was gonna be absent. All right, so that's what, that was the students were telling me. And also, uh, it's complicated right now outside, right? With this pandemic, uh, there are some students that are suffering this thing, okay? Some family members suffering, fighting, okay? COVID-19, uh, it's getting terrible, but it's okay, all right? So the other good thing, all right, is that they are learning something really good that is gonna be really helpful for them because one of the advantage, advantages, okay, they have is that they are in the company. So they, what they need to do is just apply for that position that is waiting for them, okay, right there in the company, in English, all right? So another important thing is that uh, you don't have to be shy, try to speak, try to tell something in English all the time with, with your coworkers, all right? Um, try to tell them that you are learning English, that you are advancing, and that uh, basically you're gonna be changing. I mean, you're gonna have uh, 
good change. A change for good, right? So it's gonna be really great. All right, so basically that's something that we did today. Let me see what else. Oh, here. So this is, okay, the set of uh, different expressions about food that you know, we were practicing today. So uh, it says 18, but today we just did nine. So they were pronouncing, okay, this part right here from one to nine. And also later we were asking questions. All right, you see here, okay, it's in red is the singular form and the blue one is the plural form, okay? So of course it was okay, a little bit slow, but tomorrow is gonna be faster. All right, two minutes to go, all right? Let's see if uh, Catherine and Giselle is gonna be with me away in two minutes. Let's, let's see if she can make it. I'm just checking, okay, different tests from students right now that they have some issues, all right, logging. Yeah, they have some problems logging in. All right, let me see, okay, one minute, gone, okay? I'm supposed to have, okay, right now, Giselle, let's see. right now. I'm gonna text the student right now to log in.
All right, all right. Waiting for Giselle. Little by little, step by step. Wait for the students. English for work program, all right. Excellent program, I like it. Helping people, I like to grow up professionally, personally, I like it. Good job, good job. And better that students really really want to learn English, they really want it. I'm just texting right now what happened, all right? To see what happened. Okay, just asking what's going on, what's the problem, all right? Still, okay, I can see that's what Matt is saying. That's okay. Well, 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 all right. So what we're gonna do tomorrow, okay, with the students is uh, basically, well, first, okay, to finish the class about how much, how many, which is gonna be a really good, all right, no big deal. It's gonna be a really uh, very quickly to understand tomorrow. Then we're gonna go ahead to start creating uh, negative statements, okay, with the simple present, so, something like uh, a little hard, okay, for some students to understand, but 
tomorrow, okay, it's gonna be clarified how to do that. Or right, we've been practicing, okay, about uh, third person singular, I was showing our okay, case students, so some definitions, okay, uh, based on third person singular. Uh, we were practicing this with uh, professions. So we were um, pronouncing professions, names of professions, and also at the same time we were uh, telling definitions. Uh, but the definitions, okay, was focused on third person singular, okay? So that was really good. The it took us some time, but at the end, the end of the day was good, all right? So they were actually understanding, okay, the meaning of each profession. And at the same time, they were learning uh, more vocabulary, all right? So, for example, pastry, wagons, uh, leaks, all right? Leaks from pipes. Uh, there was a profession that was giving them a hard time, which is psychiatrist. <laughs> that was really good because right, they were trying hard, but at the end, right, they were pronouncing it very well. Um, let's see what else they were uh, learning uh, vocabulary like uh, uh, beef take, all right, which is something okay that in Spanish we tend to say bistec, all right, it's not like that. All right, so you need to pronounce because it's an English word that we have in Spanish, but we pronounce it badly. All right, so pronunciation is beef take. All right, at the end, they were saying que habían vivido todo su vida engañados, all right? Basically, I mean, that's something that is coming from our parents, all right? They, they tell us beef, beef take, all right? But once you're learning the language, okay, you realize that that's not the pronunciation, okay? Uh, also, they were learning the word uh, veal cutlets, all right, which is very delicious. Uh, it has a bun in the middle, okay? So it's juicy if you really want to uh, know how to cook it. Let's see what else uh, uh, they were pronouncing, okay? Uh, vocabulary from a canton, why, which is a person that makes balances in financial statements, why they were learning that. And let's see another one. Oh, firefighter. Right, and they were learning the, the bird puts out, okay? Firefighter is the person, okay, that puts out, okay? And they were learning two new words, blazes and fires, all right? Um, let's see another one. Uh, oh, dentist, all right? Dentist is a doctor that fixes uh, the teeth why with fillings and whitening. So they were learning uh, first the word teeth, which is okay, uh, more than one, okay, from our from our teeth. All right. So uh, how the dentist okay fixes our teeth, all right, is by uh, putting okay fillings or if we have some problems about in our tears about darkness, okay, we just go for whiteningings. Uh, let's see what else. We were also learning vocabulary from this, uh, oh, pilot, okay? So uh, we will have some problems in pronunciation uh, from this bird flies, okay, they were saying fleas, okay, but that's okay, that's normal at the beginning, but then at the end, they were saying the verb, third person singular, very well, flies. Uh, the other that is, okay, a um, little bit, uh, kind of a problem, but not that much, okay, is the letter H, uh, what's explaining them that the letter H, okay, we pronounce it like J in English, all right, for example, helicopter, all right, hello, all right, uh, hi, all right, so, so those are different, okay, words, okay, where letter H sounds like a J, all right, so they were learning that too.
Um, also came okay, from uh, this profession, all right, mechanic. Um, they were learning this uh, uh, to pronounce wagons, okay, wagons, okay, which is uh, the famous trucks, okay, uh, or the big cars, okay, like uh, Ford Exploder, Ford Scorsian, Cherokees, all right, those are the wagons, okay, big cars, very comfortable, all right, let's see what else. And uh, let me mention another one. Oh, Baker, okay. Baker, all right. So in Spanish, uh, we tend to say, voy a ir a comprar un cake, but that's something that is not correct because pronunciation about cake is cake. So they were learning that, all right. So the correct form in Spanish is pastel o pastelitos, all right. And we tend to say cake or cake in, in, oh, in Spanish, voy a ir a comprar un cake. Los pequeños, voy a ir a comprar un cakeito. Okay, so we're making laugh of it. Uh, that was, that was fun. All right, so now they know, okay, that in Spanish they need to say pasteles o pastelitos, but in English, okay, they need to say cakes, or, I mean, cakes, all right, which is the correct form. Also, they were learning the word pastry, all right, which is very common for us to say every afternoon, all right? So uh, when you eat, okay, some pastry, okay, mentioning, okay, uh, semitas, chilenas, cakeitos, okay, but in Spanish, pastelitos, okay, those are the ones that we call pastry in general. Then, okay, uh, we start to call them, okay, one by one by the proper name. Uh, and then, okay, we were correcting some pronunciation based on two words, desert and dessert, okay? So I was explaining that to them too, all right, that they need to be careful, all right, when pronouncing those words, okay? Because desert is a desertic area where there is no water or trees or no vegetation around, okay, so, but it's really, but it has the two different streams in weather, all right, uh, during the day, steamy, all right, steamy, but at night, it's okay, it's freezing, all right, so it has the two streams, okay, the desert, and, but the other word uh, is dessert, okay, very delicious, dessert is postres, all right, so dessert, what kind of desserts, okay? Like tiramisu, um, free milk cake, uh, or free milk dessert. Uh, we have also, let me see, um, what other desserts we have? Oh, uh, cheesecakes, very delicious. So I just cheesecakes and others. Um, let's see what else uh, we saw yesterday that I can mention. Um, it was about, let me see, accountant, plumber, psychiatrist, teacher, okay, which is very common, uh, dentist, nurse. Okay, Norse, okay. Uh, this profession has a word uh, that was giving them a hard time, which is patience, okay? They didn't know how to pronounce it, but at the end, they were saying that word correctly, patience, all right? Takes care of, okay? Nurse is a person that takes care of patient, okay, in a hospital. All right, that's another word that they learned, okay, into the professions. Uh, let's see, another one was uh, pilot. I already mentioned pilot. Um, Baker, mentioned Baker. Uh, let's see, another one. Well, I don't remember, okay, we saw many. A lot of vocabulary yesterday. 
Let's see what else I can tell you. Well, basically it's a nice group, all right? So they are learning, they are growing, they're going step by step uh, in a very easy and simple way to understand English. And it is what it is, all right? So growing into the language, okay? In this case, it's English. Always, okay, helping them, guiding them, all right? So that's the way, okay, we need to go with them all the time, okay? Being, uh, making them feel that at the end, okay, they are using the language, saying something, okay, that is meaningful for them. So that's the most important thing that we're doing with them here in Inglés Corporativo, all right? All the time, all the powers. <laughs> All right, so we have some troubles, okay, logging in, but that's okay. All right, nothing is perfect, but uh, I was testing, texting some students and they were telling me they were having some troubles, okay, at the end. All right, so I spent a complete hour here explaining what we did. All right, so pointing, okay, pointing out some, okay, uh, things, okay, that they are really learning in a very good form. So let's see, all right, so the last 10 minutes, what else can I tell you? Uh, well, so happy to be part of Inglés uh, Corporativo staff. I'm so happy to be in this, okay, great program, which is, okay, English for Work program, I guess, okay. Uh, this is a great opportunity, a life for them to learn English. And nothing like this existed before, believe me. Uh, when I was young, I was knocking on doors all the time. Oh, I've existed some, okay, type of problems like this but nothing, okay, nothing. And now, good, okay, we having this great opportunity. Really, really nice, wonderful. All right, so a little by little, okay, clock st still ticking, all right, so almost finishing the last 10 minutes. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, let's see, a body and a body. Tomorrow we're gonna see how much, how many, all right? I want to guide the student how to use very well. We're gonna see the second part of the set of uh, foot expressions that I was showing you. Let me show you one more time. This one. Tomorrow we're gonna see from 10 to 18, and we're gonna be asking questions using how much, all right, in a singular form, how much in a plural form, okay? 
the singular form is going to be the red one uh the plural form is going to be the blue one all right so that's what we're going to do tomorrow and also we're going to start seeing okay this famous uh structure with the simple present which is creating native sentences okay that's something that gives our time to this back all right tomorrow is going to be fine all right so i'm going to make them understand that very quickly and very well so uh basically this is what we did today from one to nine asking how much in singular and plural form all right tomorrow we'll continue with the second part what else I can tell you? Okay, just let me see. Well, basically, okay. So tomorrow we're gonna do this. All right, I'm gonna use these tables to explain how to make the negative sentences on their statements using the simple present, but that's gonna be tomorrow, all right? So these two tables are gonna help me a lot. All right, just let me connect. All right, the charger because computer is about to let me see. I'm gonna charge it. Just give me a second, give me a second. All right, that's good. All Little by little, step by step, very easy, very simple. Okay. Helping the kids, helping the students. Learning English all the time. All right. It's really great to see the students learning English all right, at night. All right. So it's a nice sacrifice they're doing learning English. And 
I'm so happy to see right, how eager they are to learn it. It's really great to see that, okay? And even better to see that they are learning and they are starting talking and using the language, which is good. I really like it. Really, really like it. This globalization, basically, we need to know, okay, English, which is uh, uh, the one that we use, okay, to communicate each other in any country, any situation, inside, outside, okay, the office or inside, outside, or houses, okay, most of the time right now, okay, everywhere, all right, it's uh, the global language, okay, that we're going to use, okay, to communicate with other people to make, I mean, to do business and to do any transaction, all right? Now, manuals, okay, are basically in English, no more Spanish. So, uh, and it's nice because if we learn, if we as Salvadorans, okay, learn another language, okay, it's going to be a better status for us internationally, which is good. I really like that. Okay, okay. Um, basically, all right, so I've been explaining, okay, what we've been doing, okay, with students, okay, previous classes, today class. All right, and well, this is it. It is what it is. Okay, I was here, okay, along. But I'm so happy, okay, to be with this group. All right, basic group, okay, but they, because they are really, really learning language, and I like that. Very easy, very simple. Okay, guys, have a good night. Practice English all the time, and I see you tomorrow for more action in English. Very easy, very simple. All right. Have a good one. Bye bye. Just let me see how can I leave this session right now. Okay, right now. Here we go. Just give me a second. Perfect. All right. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.